Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic foodie adventure just for you and just for you. We are in the sunny, pretty little town of Alcona, Ontario, Canada. And today we're gonna to be eating at Guac Mexi Grill. We've been here once before uh, when I did a video where I lived in this plaza for 24 hours or for the whole day. And uh, we had the shrimp burrito. But right now they've got a thing on there for a limited time only, the Chipotle Steak Burrito but I also want to try their quesadillas. So before we go in there, I just want to show you what I've done with Rusty. Are you guys ready? Let's go. What we have done is put everything back. Uh, I put out a vlog on my vlog channel, just in case you didn't know I had a vlog channel. I have a vlog channel. And uh, I lent my van to Ben because he did a move recently and he needed the van for moving all of his stuff. So I gutted Rusty, took everything out, put it in the garage. And yesterday was the first day I had uh, opportunity to put everything back. Uh, as I was putting things back, I realized the rug I had, uh, I just didn't like it anymore. Um, it's, it's at the back, I'll show it to you in a second. But I bought a brand new rug uh, actually just over there uh, across the street at Canadian Tire and, and now it fits all the way across all the way up the front it doesn't go all the way to the back again the uh, area in which this it's eight it's an eight foot piece of plywood but uh, they didn't have any eight foot rugs so I have to get a six foot rug and I really wanted it to be up as far as here so I can slide things in and out uh, I don't necessarily need a rug back there. I got my bike in here for our next stealth camp. Got my lighting up all the way across. That's my uh, LED lighting. Got my cup back up there. And uh, I got have to put this up somewhere. Carbon monoxide alarm, which is super handy when you have a heater in here and it's cold. So I've got a few items at the back there. Uh, this is where I usually put my clothing bag and uh i'll probably uh I, I did store some stuff at the back i used to put like my containers of fuel and stuff here but now that's at the back uh, i've got my table and all my window coverings for stealth uh somebody asked me on my vlog channel where i got these clamps i got them from a store in canada called uh, henry's i'm pretty sure i bought these there I also bought this there. I had a longer arm yesterday when I put it up. And uh, this is a Monfrotto. He was asking what, what the name brand was. Uh, this is a very lar long uh, articulating arm, but I had this like across here, but it's just, it's too big. So I'm gonna keep that there for now. And uh, so these smaller arms are better. And then I've got this little quick, I can throw my iPhone on there and uh, shoot some video from this spot. I've got another one over there attached to the headrest. And then I just found this in one of my drawers. I'm, I'm like, I know I have a whole bunch of um, light stands and, and uh, camera mounts. So this one's pretty good because it's just a small little mount here. It's got this, uh, I think it's called the Rhino mount. It's supposed to mount to the front of your helmet uh, for like a 3D camera kind of thing. Uh, 360 camera, sorry. And then I put this little ball head uh, if you ever want to invest in something nice and easy and make your life really easy is a nice little ball head because then I can just, this can be in one position all the time and then all I have to do is unscrew this and move the head wherever I need it to be and uh, then your camera is all nice and level. And I've got these up here for, I want to do a kayak ride uh, adventure camping thing. So I put those on and I can't wait to do that with you guys. So everything's all good to go and I can't wait to uh, do my first stealth camp. But today is just a single food item or a couple food items. We'll do it at uh, Guac Mexi Grill. Let's go. Gotta come back and do their tacos. There it is. Chipotle steak. Mmm. I think it's already a go out and get it now. What do you think? Of course it is. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Hello. All right, how are you doing today? I'm gonna to try that uh, Chipotle steak burrito, please. And that's your regular size, please. And I'm also gonna do, uh, I guess, cheese quesadillas. Ooh, they, have, they have shrimp quesadillas. I'm gonna do a shrimp quesadilla. I'm actually gonna do a shrimp quesadilla, please. Didn't know you had those. 
Ah, yes, please. Uh, can I do a little bit of black and a little bit of refry, please? Thank you. Yeah. Gotta have both. Looks awesome. Other toppings? I don't know what else you'd put on that. <laughs> if you have any suggestions. Okay, corn and onions would be great, thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, a lot of cheese. I'm sorry, uh, cheese, please. Lettuce, tomato, onion, cilantro. Was that jalapeno? That's jalapeno. Jalapeno? Okay, jalapeno. Uh, and yes. and, and uh, your mild sauce would be great. A little bit of tomato. Burrito yeah. sauce, and then this. Yeah. What's your what, What's the powder? It looks a oh, it's just a seasoning. Yeah. Okay. No, thank you. Just cilantro. That looks great, man. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, he just says it's a seasoning. I've never had it before. The guy in front of me ordered it, and I'm like, ah, I gotta try it. I'll try it, yeah. please. Any drinks for you? No, thank you. Okay, so for the sugar, would you like the caramel sauce or the chocolate sauce? Uh, let's go caramel, please. It's to go, right? Yes, please. Thank you. Had to move the van a little bit. There was a guy parked right beside me. <laughs> I hate that. We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I just don't like people like sitting right beside my car while they're eating and I'm doing a videotape. It just doesn't work for me. Would it work for you? I don't know. All right, let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. And I've got my placemat all good to go. I've got my napkin, got my water from home. Trying to save a little bit of money anyway, right? Ah, okay. So, you can smell the churro over everything else that's in this bag. Because he just made it. And then he gave me some uh, caramel sauce. I'm going to put that in the sun. Let that heat up. I'm going to keep my churro in the sun as well. That's a good thing about the summertime. I've got a couple of windows open. Oh my gosh. The burrito is crazy heavy. And my quesadilla. Hola, como estas, amigo? Dos cerveza, por favor. All right. So let's open this up. Ooh. I don't regularly order ever a quesadilla. Uh, I'd, I'd order it maybe and share it with people at the table. But as a meal, I don't think I, I would normally do that. I always go for burritos. Let us know in the comments below what is your favorite thing at Mexican uh, style restaurants. I think burrito would be my number one thing to order. Uh, but let us know. So we'll put that there and we'll open up this burrito. I don't think we can do like a regular close up type thing. Uh, I'm sure people use the bag to help keep everything in. Uh, Cause if you just open this up, it's just gonna, pour out the side, isn't it? You gotta keep it like a pouch, right? Oh, look at that. Perfectly toasted all the way around. Let's go in for a close up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going in for the extreme close up of this amazing Mexican meal, all the way from Guac Mexi Grill. Over here, we've got our quesadilla and we went with shrimp and uh, Again, I don't do a whole lot of quesadillas, so I asked him for some input on that, and he said onions and corn, and of course, a lot of cheese. 
and there's our sour cream and our salsa moving slowly over to our burrito look at that thing of beauty i cannot wait to sink my teeth into that and then over here is our chiro and uh yep the, the lighting is whack right now so uh we'll do our best for you you guys ready let's eat okay let's put the chiro back over there let's grab a piece of this quesadilla quesadilla okay there we go i'm gonna try a whole piece without any sauces or anything but there you go oh it's gonna drop all over the floor we've got that cheese we've got the shrimp corn and onion let us know in the comments below what you put in your uh quesadillas very very good My soft tortilla has sorry about that the camera just shut off i have no idea why if it was a battery situation or it was overheating i guess we'll find out real soon if it was because it was overheating anyway i think the last thing i was talking about was what you guys prefer in your quesadilla chicken uh beef just cheese shrimp let us know mm. the shrimp is dynamite Mm. I'm enjoying that a lot. I'm gonna do another one with the sauces. The only problem with all these things is that they just fall out mainly. So I'm not sure how I should do this. Should I do sour cream? And then, like, how are you supposed to eat this? sour cream it's just gonna fall out see and then salsa uh, do I pour it on because dipping doesn't seem to work oh there's a succulent shrimp hanging out the side mmm very nice salsa mm. chunks of tomato and onion very very good again it's a pourable thing or or you had to have a fork and fork it on ooh la la get the fork out quesadilla is dynamite all right moving over to the burrito but that was good the onions are nice and strong and the corn's got that crunch to it. So does the uh, the onions got a crunch and the corn. All right, so let's move over to this burrito. Chipotle steak. Oh, you see it coming out of that pan. Cheers, guys. That's the first time I ever seen anybody put powder or the seasoning stuff on it. The guy ahead of me ordered that. I said, "Oh, can I get the seasoning?" I'm like, "Hmm." I don't recall anybody at any of the other places I've eaten at. I don't recall them ever saying that they had a seasoning to put on there. I know about the burrito sauces and all the other th toppings that are in there. But uh, that seasoning definitely bumped this up a huge notch. The steak is nice and tender. The chipotle sauce is really, really nice. And I'm glad I put, uh, again, the chipotle and the uh, burrito sauce are complementing each other nicely. Sorry about the mouth noises. Mm. I'm usually um, like if I was to order a normal burrito it would probably be a chicken burrito but my number one always is shrimp burritos if they have them a lot of places don't do shrimp but shrimp burrito is my number one and I think when I order just normal burritos the chicken would be probably my number two 
but com compare this to the chicken this is freaking amazing and look it's a lot of food man that is a huge burrito yeah, it's the size of a human brain right there okay go ahead scratch it snip it the rest is mine put the wrapper back on because it is drippy Ooh la la all the toppings I chose are dynamite wow holy cow that, that steak though yeah if they had that on there permanently I'd order this I'd probably order shrimp more but this would be my second choice just because I love shrimp but the flavors and textures I'm getting from this thing it's a limited time only so if you have a guac near you and I think they go from the most of them like 40 or more locations are here in Ontario Canada then they've got them as far as Prince Edward Island on the east coast of Canada and I think they go as far as Alberta on the west side of uh, Canada So do a search on the Google, if you live in Canada, see if uh, a, there's a Guac Mexi Grill close to you. Mm. The thing I'm loving most about this thing is just all the different textures I'm getting. You know, the nice soft tortilla, and then like the crunchy veggies that are in there. And then that fresh, juicy steak, oh, covered in chipotle sauce. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Let's quickly have another one of these quesadillas. And I, this next one's a big one. So I'm gonna try a different way here. I'm gonna try putting a little bit of the sour cream on there. There we go, this is working. This is definitely working eat better. Got a little bit of that juices, juices. A little, there we go, that's better. That's probably how you're supposed to eat it right there, right? The flour tortilla here is really nice with that toasty uh, crunch. It just definitely adds to the flavors of this thing. Load them up. Load them up, Apon. What movie is that from? Did somebody wake up, Hicks? No, Hudson. Would somebody wake up, Hudson? Mm. Ah! I'm gonna put the whole thing in. Ooh la la. So good, man. So good. Well, that was awesome. Let's get out this nicely warm churro off my dashboard. <laughs> With the caramel sauce. What do you guys prefer? The caramel sauce or the uh, chocolate sauce? But what is the actual sauce that Mexicans make for their churros? And I just remember them talking about how how long it takes to make the uh, the sauce that usually goes with your churro. All right, here we go. Dip. Mmm. And what's a churro? Some of you might ask. It's a Mexican donut. Very tasty. A very dense donut it's more like a, a cake donut than like a yeast donut you're gonna get your chocolate dip that's like a yeast donut and then you get the cake type style donuts that's what this is kind of like it's covered in cinnamon and sugar and again the the actual cream or whatever that the Mexicans like to put on this uh, I'm not sure why they don't have it but maybe it's too hard to make Apparently, it just takes a long time to make that sauce. This is pretty good, though. So let us know in the comments below, would you like the, the chocolate, the caramel, or the, the real sauce that you're supposed to eat with this?
I'm not sure if they make these in-house, but they definitely threw them in the uh, deep fryer to cook them up. It's still really warm. And it's a great dessert. When I eat Mexican, I'd rather have this than the co cookies and other things that they offer because that just rounds off my meal. Awesome. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. All done. Let's see if we can do this. Two points for cat. Once again, sorry about that. The camera overheated once again. I'm using the DJI Action 3 and uh, it, half the camera's in the sun. So I gotta figure out some way of uh, rigging up something just to keep it in the shade a little bit more so it doesn't overheat. Uh, luckily I brought three batteries and the batteries are cool and I uh, just threw another battery in. Everything is good to go. All right guys, it is now time to rate the Guac Mexi Grill food. The quesadilla is a would recommend. I'm thinking like the cheese uh, with chicken would probably be better than this, what I had. It was good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, like I said, it's a would recommend, but uh, I think we can make a better quesadilla. And I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below as to what a better quesadilla would taste like. And what would you put in it? Ooh la la. And as for the Chipotle regular burrito, that will have to be a go out and get it now plus. It was really, really good. I can't wait to come back and try that again. And churros are always a would recommend. All right guys, once again, I'd like to thank you very, very much for checking out my video. All you viewers who subscribe, comment, hit that like button. You guys are amazing. I'd also like to thank my channel members for your monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. But if you like this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped on over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.